So I have the all-time deadlift record over the age of 50 at 815 pounds. It's raw, no suit, no nothing. And Annie's going to try to beat that record, which God bless him. I, I would like to do it in a contest with him. I'll even put on a suit and we can get after it. One of the toughest strong men in history, right here. Well, everybody, welcome to the Giants Live podcast. I'm taking over today, and yes, <laughs> are you recording? Are we recording though. <laughs> yes, we let's are. Go. Okay, let's yes. keep going now. So, <laughs> hit it, dude. This it's is the me, intro. Colin, and Rodsey, and Darren. Darren's going to have to leave fairly soon because he has a meeting, Yeah, supposedly, but we're going to try to see if we can keep him from avoiding that meeting because it's not important. We're only at Worlds. Mate, it's and, good. Uh, it's yeah, there we go. We kicked off the show. And you can't start by calling yourself me. You have to call yourself Nick Best. Oh, I'm Nick The Best. 10 times world strongest man competitor. Yeah. First of all, dude, how are you? I'm fantastic. I'm here hanging out, watching and meeting and greeting people, hanging out in the VIP area and... Uh, talking with people, explaining events and stuff like that, and it's it's pretty neat. Do you miss competing? Yes. What do you love most about it? Uh, just the camaraderie with the guys and then just going out and testing yourself. I, I miss it. I love doing it. it. It's fun for me. I mean, I, I truly enjoy it. It's my first world, and it, it feels very different to a Giants live call. It feels unique. Mm. It's a coming together of people. It's longer than, than, say, a Giants live, but there is something special about it. I think there's something very special about this year in particular. I don't know what, what it is and why it is. I think it's all the returning champions. Because yeah. we've got, I think yeah. we've got, have we got four returning champions? We've got yeah. seven, actually. We've got the crew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Name the four. Yeah. What? Brian, so, so Brian, Lissis, Tom, Alexi. Alexi. And the other three in the crew? Magnus Ver, Big Z, Eddie the Beast Hall. Yeah. Eddie Who's the sat Beast. right over there. He's such, he's such a he's fan. He's such camera. a fanboy. He's behind the camera <laughs> watching. <laughs> Thank we, God we didn't see that. <laughs> now I will describe for you what Eddie was just doing. No, I won't. No. But, <laughs> but he's got a little smirk on his face. Can I? Can I ask the next question? When are the fans going to get the return of the strongest man in history? Um. Uh, well, it's I, rumor has it. They they've talked to all of us. That's all I can tell you. Oh, mm. look at Ed's like, mm. my contract's not quite right yet. <laughs> 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 he's had enough already because he can't speak. <laughs> he's leaving. We love you, Ed. Bye, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> love you. Go on, Nick. Go, give us a skinny on it, man. What's happening? I, we just know that uh, 215 West, the History Channel, and E1 Entertainment are talking. So that's all we know. That's I, wa- really cool. I watched and it they- a few weeks ago. It was really yeah. cool. I, I, I didn't really get get it because it was on. You didn't chan- get it. What's to get? No, I didn't really. I didn't really get the concept of it, and it, it was on a channel that I, that I don't really get in, on my sort of TV package. So I watched it. It was really cool. Oh, oh okay. so you got us and you just didn't get it, but now it you, wasn't, you, you know, got whatever the, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Disco, you know, like discovery. The one thing I didn't. Okay, the one thing. <laughs> can I just say the one thing I didn't get, as in get, was. The the episode on the Vikings. Oh yeah, yeah. And you were outside like a Lowe's shop in Minnesota or somewhere. I guess is the Minnesota Vikings. Was it? Was that what it was going to be? Uh, no, it was supposed to be regular Vikings. But yeah. So. <laughs> anyway, but there's a, there's a lot of people Nordic people that have immigrated to Minnesota. Okay. And it's a massive amount of people that are there. So instead of flying. All the way over there. I ain't busting your onions, man. I'm, it's okay. was, you, you're uh, the I'm producer. Not, I don't run the show. I'm not the producer. I don't do all that. All I go is where they tell you, me. You just stole it. You just stole the show, baby. And you just for anyone who hasn't seen it, so we're talking about yourself, Brian, Ob, Eddie, Correct. who all compete basically to recreate historical feats of strength. Yeah, we go find an old time strongman or group of people that did strong feats of strength, and we bring their history back to life, and then we go out and go after to actually almost myth bust what they did. Right. Yeah, is, it, is it almost trying to find out if it is a myth? Yes. Yeah. And some things we did, some things were myths, and we did find those things. Yeah. So, but it was, it was really neat getting to redo those things that those guys did at their top form. Yeah. So it was yeah. a lot of fun. Question. Oh, do, you, do you think 
right now. Oh we, you know, I, sometimes I think it's very arrogant for us to say this is the strongest man in history, Zadruna Saviskas. When you consider no one really knows how old human history is. I mean, <laughs> well, do you know what I'm saying? True, true. To, to I mean, your point, a, though, look at someone like Bibby. Now, Bibby is a guy who has not trained in the traditional way, mm. yet he would ultimately have a myth in 100 years' time if you look back at him. Because, and just because he didn't necessarily compete, I wonder how many other Bibbies there are around the world. Before, there was, the before travel was so easy, yeah. imagine right. Bibby in Africa like 200 years ago. Yeah. Like, it would just be unbelievable. Yeah, literally mm. unbelievable. Yeah. Okay, two questions. So Kay. if you could have your way, mm. would there be a feat of strength you'd like to see them do in the next series if it were to happen? Hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to see the Vidra Scepter lifted. Okay. So that's that would be a really neat thing to do. Um, Hang on. You said okay, like you knew what it I was. I'm gonna say I have no idea what he's talking <laughs> about. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> so it's a it's a feat of strength in the Buddhist religion that is uh, over 800 years BC when it when it happened, and it, it's I think between 440 and 480 pounds that they were able to pick up with one hand and hold for. Eight seconds and then set on a pestle. So oh, cool. very 200 cool. kilos. Yeah. yeah. Okay, 200, that's doable. 200 to 220. But it, yeah. It's is, there, is there anything that you did in the show that you think we could bring into a Giants Live or World's Strongest Man? Ooh, you know? Great mm, shout. Mm. Uh, it depends on how many guys you're going to run, but I would kind of like to see something like the carousel lift. That was really cool. Because it's a hip lift and you can use your arms and it's a max weight. So, I mean, we we broke Paul Anderson's record. It was 2,700 pounds. So it was a massive amount of weight doing yeah. that. It's almost like a belt squat. Yeah, it's like but a you belt. Could, what, so, you, so it's a belt squat and you can push up with and, your arms. And a dip, yeah. Wow. And so Paul Anderson did that with, you know, a whole carousel full of people that weighed 2,700 pounds um, on the Ed Sullivan show. And it, it was really neat. We recreated that at his ranch. Right. And we all did 2710, or the three of us did 2710, uh, Eddie, Brian, and I. And then I went ahead and went after like 2792 or something like that, and I managed to get it. Question, Very question, cool. question. Did okay. you not hurt yourself doing that? No, not that one. I didn't hurt myself doing I'll tell that. Tell you one. one that I saw. That Eddie hurt himself doing yeah, that. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's right it. on the borderline, that stuff, though, isn't it? Because you're it, really oh. putting, it's your holding strength, as it were. It's, yeah. It's, that's everything. That's your, you're locking out bones. and you know, there, was, you know. there was one with a, the massive log on your back that you did. Yeah. The, that uh, looked insane. Or, that looked or, like nobody ever actually done that before. Orm Strollison's log. Yeah, that was 1,450 pounds. The, and the hardest part to figure out was the balance on the thing because yeah. you couldn't get it centered on there and you just had two ropes. Basically like, like having a tree on your back, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. A, remember the, the Thor It was a, supposed lift. to be a mass of a sheet. Yeah, yeah, that was it. Like yeah. that one. Oh, that's yeah. the one you're talking about. It's yeah. like that, yeah. It's okay. like that, yeah. And the next question is, if you were to have a fifth strong man for Series 2, who would you like to have from the current crop? Because there are some... Cause it seems Brad, Brad is like, pick me. Pick me. <laughs> <laughs> He's been pumping his guns up before the start of the We well, caught did. him in the gym pumping up. He was, getting af- he was getting after it at the gym today. He was, he was on fire. <laughs> He's getting all, huge and he's getting 74 strong. kilos of me. Because I tell you, seeing today, no yeah. spoilers about World's Strongest Man at all, but seeing Martins today, that guy, with his hair, with his look, with his attitude, yeah. he'd make yeah. a good fifth edition. And, and you know what? Martins yeah. would fit into all of us well, too. You know, He's so mellow. Yeah, he, he is. So He's it, actually very would, funny as well. Yeah, he is. Mm. He's, got, so, he's naturally funny. And I think he'll get along with, he would get along with all, all four of us. He, he just looks like Conan to me. There was Conan the Barbarian again, and you know, pushing that thing around yeah. the hair. Ah, he, he, mm. he just looks colossal. Is it Dolph mm. or Arnie for Conan? Do- uh, Arnie. That's, Arnie. That's the Arnie. Barbarian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. that was Arnold. So I, you've got a, bit, got a bit of a competition with your uh, master's deadlift. Tell us a bit more about that. Oh, we, we, oh. we had Andy Bolt on a few weeks ago, and he was telling yeah. us that uh, he was going to destroy you it, yeah. and your record. <laughs> <laughs> the big race. No, he didn't. But anyway, well, you know, you know what? I love Andy Bolton. He's a legend. I, he's a legend. He it's, hates you. He it, wants he you. He doesn't hate <laughs> me. It was actually really nice. I, most of you don't know, but I tore my lat off, or most, I tore my lat off last year and had it surgically reattached to my humerus, and it was a year ago, May twelfth, and here it is. What? What is today? The twenty fourth. Yes, it's over a year. Just so, so it was just over a year ago. Is that a regular operation? No, there's very few of those that happen. So, but 
I have a brilliant surgeon. I mean, he, he did a. You know him well. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've seen him a few times now. Sorry. Um, I'm getting a a card, you know, for discounts after <laughs> I keep going back. Yeah. But um, he did a f- phenomenal job on it and got got me going. And I took my time with the rehab. And I just did a powerlifting meet, and I totaled 2028, 20, which is the 26th year I've squatted over 800 in the contest and totaled over 2,000. That's very cool. Wow. That's so very cool. Andy sent me so a it nice... it promising. Yeah. We're going to have Nick Best back at Giants Live. I will Best. be back. And, and, oh, and quality, what if, mate. I mean, I know you were saying you're doing the Clash Masters. Is that right? Yep. yep. Well, that's, that's my entry back into it. OSM Masters? I've, yeah, and then I'm coming to... You know, OSG Masters. Yep. Well, strongest yeah. man, over 50? Yep. I will be there. Well, I've, I've got to pick between 40 and 50. We'll see. But why, why, how old are you? 53. Why would just accept you over 50, dude, <laughs> and win it? Guaranteed. No, but the, the, the over 50 has got some tough guys in it as well. I was quite surprised. It's a tough guy. <laughs> you got Phoenix, potentially. Yeah, yeah. Well, Phoenix actually, this year, did over 40. Did the, well, last year, should I say, did, did the did over the 40s. Um, but if your problem is, I think if you do the over fifties, he'll do it. Then if if that's, I'll do it. Yeah, cool. I mean, it, it, that'd be a lot of fun. I love competing with. What Mark. are you going to do? You're going to see who does what and then decide, or probably. Yeah. The thing is, though, <laughs> you are breaking ground. The pair of you. Yeah. I oh mean, yeah. It's it's incredible. Yeah. I mean, right now in powerlifting, I hold the biggest total all the time over the age of fifty at twenty one eighty two. So and the K- biggest K- deadlift. K- kilos, kilos help, help us. Uh, Nine hundred ninety kilos. It's a big total, is it? Yeah, it's, total. it's 990. That's extraordinary. I'm going to yeah. ask the obvious question here. Well, I want to total 1,000. Right, yeah. yeah. That's that's my goal. My goal is to come back and total 1,000. I'd be again. embarrassed not to do that. You know, go out the house. <laughs> <laughs> that's so awful. Yeah, well, but back to Andy Bolton. So I have the all-time deadlift record over the age of 50, 815 pounds. It's raw, no suit, no nothing. And Andy's going to try to beat that record which god bless him i i would like to do it in a contest with him i'll even put on a suit and we can get after it that's cool so i would i would absolutely love to do that if we could figure out a way to work that out but i i definitely want to pull you know at least 843 andy Andy runs a competition once a year the andy bolton deadlift challenge should probably do it there but he's he's just like so mechanically minded is andy oh yeah he's a technician you know what i mean it's it's great mm. to watch. And also since his recovery. I mean, you've also yeah. had your lat recovery, but he's yep. had sort of organ surgery. I mean, <laughs> Yeah, he almost died. Right. It's, un- <laughs> it's unreal what he's doing. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, totally. I got nothing but respect for the guy. It's, it's just really, so really bred in him, isn't it? You know huh? what I mean? Yes. It's just in him. To oh, do yeah. That. But, you know, that's cool. How many sports would you go, basically, that a guy I'm trying to beat, I basically like and respect? It's cool. Yeah. That, yeah. That's kind of you. It's, some it's strong and empowering. Yeah. 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 It's both of them. And you see, you know, if whoever wins it, one of you's got to pull a, a new world record, and mm-hmm. the other one will shake the other one's hand. That's how it works, you know. Yeah, cool. I doubt it. I think it'll be hate. <laughs> <laughs> but the th- the question, Colin just wants to suck the. So the, the question is: it. Is Felix going to jump in the mix with this? Yeah, come that on. That was Felix. talked about. It was talked about. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Has, he, has yeah. he ever done powerlifting? Yes. No. no, but he used to back in the day, didn't he? Pre strongman. No, 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 no. In deadlifts, I'm Felix. Sure. Can, sure. Felix. Honestly, I knew Felix from right in the beginning. His second ever I was contest. at his first show. Okay, I, was, I knew when he was on the cruise ships. I was, I was his <laughs> second contest before his first show. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he had, he'd only done body a building. bit of bodybuilding. Yeah. But mm-hmm. I said, had you compete? He was like, no. He'd done bodybuilding basically on the cruise ships. He'd been, he had like a <laughs> pair of sand weights. He, he just pumped, man. Yeah. No, so no powerlifting. I, what could wow, Felix do I, in a powerlifting contest? Deadlifted. He might be able to pull 410. Without too much of a problem, be the first guy over fifty to pull. I uh, think bench. What does Felix bench? Well, that that's I, a big question. I bet he I gets know. a lot from going from there to there, though. Probably like you, right? You go, you gain a lot, not being over your head. Well, right? you, I mean, what you got to <laughs> no remember offense. about Felix is he's always trained for full shows. So mm. if he, if he switched up, we also, you know, a lot of people have gone past Matt with the deadlift now. Let's be honest, because of his age, and there's a new era of deadlifters. Yeah, yeah. but. He's never actually homed in on just a deadlift. He's always trained for six or ten event shows. Mm-hmm. You know, if he said, right, I'm going to see what I can pull, you know, I think, I think he'd be right up there. I think he can pull 415 to 430 kilos, no matter what he does, whether he stopped training or anything. He's, he just is... I wouldn't argue, yeah. Here's a question. With, him, with his issues overhead, would they be negated when it comes to flat pressing, do you reckon? Or, or do you Mine s- are. 
Okay. I think so, yeah. I mean, before the surgery and stuff, I was going between 512 and 529 on a regular basis. Every once in a while, I'd jump up into the 540, 550 range. So it's about 220. Guys, so I've got some two, work to do. I've got to shoot. You've got work, Darren. I've got work to do. Unbelievable. Someone's got to keep this show running. You're going to leave us. I've got to go. So oh. some, yeah. It's good seeing you, Darren. He, okay, he's, ba- he's basically working reception. Hello. That's what it is. <laughs> What's wrong, <this> man? <laughs> right, guys. Good Thank luck. you, brother. See you later. Thank you. Bye, bye, Darren. Bye. We yeah. love you. Now, just to be just to be clear, in case you're thinking, I wonder what Darren's off to do. The man is genuinely off to a meeting, and without Darren, many things would not happen. So we're grateful for Darren's almost, hard work. Almost no one would answer the phone. <laughs> would not happen. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Let's be honest. Right, let, Bryce, let's be totally <laughs> honest here. If we were to compare no. workloads on Giants Live in terms of preparation leading up to it, <laughs> what would we call well, what, Where are we going with this conversation? <laughs> what Gee, would you, you, you want me to throw Daz in the fire and say he, does, he really doesn't do very much and I do it all? <laughs> Is that what you want to hear? If that's what you want to hear... Ooh, I'm gonna it would be a lie. <laughs> it would be a hideous lie. No, li- hey, listen... Daz does all right. If that half hour a week he does, it's, he's, he's very effective. He's very effective. That's the best 30 me, minutes you've ever seen someone work. It's very efficient. Nev no, is great. currently sat behind the camera going, I hope Daz doesn't hear this because he's going to be livid. Yeah. No, no, Daz, but, just best edit ever. this part out. Best it's, ever. Best, <laughs> best guy ever to partner with, I tell you. He absolutely is. Mate, seeing, seeing how far Strongman's come over the years mm-hmm. and world's strongest man, yeah. how nuts is it to think that you know, 25 years ago, it was done on a beach and it was clearly done from a standard of love. Whereas, and, But the strength and depth now of the guys that you're seeing, it's just off the charts. Yeah, and it's going to get better and better and better because Strawman keeps getting more mainstream and more popular and the internet and Instagram and Facebook and all that has really made it possible because for the guys to actually not work jobs the way normal people used to and they, so they can make a living with sponsors and stuff like that now to where they can concentrate on this more. And the more the athletes can do that, the better they're going to be, plain and simple. But by the way, you, oh, you, you, yeah. basically Daz is gone. He's had a quick beard transplant. <laughs> he's lost his hair. And he, he's just about 30 years older. Ah, Dave Warner, how you doing? Oh, oh, oh. Now you have Dave. to be gentle on the microphone. It's quite, quite delicate. There we are. Ladies and gentlemen. A world's strongest man competitor from just over. Were you were you in the were you in seventy nine or eighty? <laughs> <laughs> you always forget. Ouch. Coach, don't you? Yeah. Ouch. Oh no, no, it was two thousand and two. Two. Yeah. Two thousand and twenty years ago. Two thousand and twenty years ago. Yeah. Two thousand and twenty years ago. <laughs> wow. Dave was you. You were uh, Kuala Lumpur. Correct. Yes. You were in a heat with uh, Johnny Perry. Big Johnny wow. Perry. Yeah. Uh, Yanni. Yeah. Uh, Jean Valguer Williams. Jean um, Valguer Williams, the man. The and myth. my old friend Odd Haugen, who we met again today. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Cool, man. Yeah. Well, and you are now working here as a. I'm, I'm asking you like I don't even know. We're all part of the same team. <laughs> <laughs> one of our one of our very senior referees. And you were. Mm. How do you go today? You enjoy it? Yeah, it was fantastic. Yeah, very hot, very hot day, but uh, but a great competition. Enjoyed it. Yeah. Mate, can you in, can you enjoy? it as a referee or having to split responsibility between making sure reps are good and sort of going wow that's impressive it's it's difficult obviously there's two lanes running so my focus is obviously on what i'm doing i very very seldom see what's going on you know everybody said oh did you yep. see that well no i was looking at what was in front of me if it's in the you know the opposing lane but uh uh, no, it, it, obviously I, I see what I see. I see the impressive uh, athletes down my lane and, and hear about the the lane two activity as well. So I mean, is it? I mean, obviously you've done a, you've done a lot of strongman, and, and probably the most famous clip of you in strongman is 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 doing this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm 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 only half joking because 400 million people have watched you referee Eddie Hall's. Yeah. 500 kids. You, you were looking at me, what are you going on about? <laughs> you are the man who goes, why Sorry, were you? Why do you see you twice. endlessly going down, down? Do you remember yeah, that night? Yeah, well, I don't know. It was a bit like a, a bit of a TikTok meme kind of thing, wasn't it? My, I'm going on down. But, but no, uh, in reality, uh, you remember the day you were there. I was quite a long way back uh, referee in that particular yeah. uh, event. Too far back with me, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and... The noise of the crowd, uh, I've never experienced uh, before or after, really. It was, it was so loud. 
Um, and uh, I don't know, it was uh, everything. Did was you just, do your arm more than once or twice? I mean, it was no, the arm went down <laughs> once. Only once it, it, it went down once. Okay. So We've, it, was quite, it was, it was so it's quite been edited to go yeah. down, down, down. Well, they keep replaying it. That's yeah. all. Right. So don't worry about yeah. it. Don't let Colin give you a hard time like that. Mate, we've um, we've spoken quite a lot about Eddie's 500 deadlift, and so Bryce he didn't think he was going to do it. Daz didn't think he was going to do it. Did you think he was going to do it? Uh, I doubted Eddie Hall once, and he told me never to doubt him again. So I think I took him at his word. I actually believed he was going to do it. Yeah, I did. Were you, were you nervous as a referee? Because let's take his other world record attempt in Gateshead, I'm going to say it was. Um, in, was it, what's the rugby stadium? It was Headingley, yeah, thank yeah. you. So Gateshead? It was the track and field stadium. You about, thank you, yes. Yeah, which you're one? Which right. one? We're talking about Leeds? No, so in terms of Headingley, when oh. Eddie drops the deadlift oh. Oh, under Maggie there. Mm, so given there's that history of mm. ultimately a man has pulled the world record, but literally, I mean, I could li hold onto the bar as it hits the ground. Were you almost, were you actually nervous yourself or was it just... You, you didn't ref that one though. No, but I all I mean is the idea that if the referee gets it wrong, there is no world record. So you are actually an inextricable part of the world record attempt. Yeah, you are, but I mean, you, you, as a referee, you can only referee what's what's in front of you. You know, you've you've the you've the rules to apply. Um, if the, the athlete doesn't do, doesn't follow the rules, then they don't get the lift. Doesn't matter who you are. Mm. Now, Eddie had figure eights on for that lift. There's no way you can drop it. Ah, uh, fair. Okay. Absolutely no way he could drop it. So he could set it down super hard, but he can't get his hands off that bar. So it's impossible to drop when you have the figure eights on. So did he change so he between? Couldn't, he it couldn't get. He couldn't get DQ'd for dropping. Yeah, no, he, he was, uh, I guess he must have just forward wrapped, let's, right? Let's face it, Eddie was never going to drop another bar after that, was he? <laughs> <laughs> true, true. No, but no, and that's, why, that's maybe why they edited in five downs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, he, did, he did stand there a long time yes. that night. Well, he, he made a point and a statement like, I got it and I really got this. And I'm not putting it down for a minute so you can understand, I got this. <laughs> and then he put it down. I don't think he had an option. I think he went down, actually, <laughs> if, you, if you watch the footage. Yeah. yeah. No, I remember running around beh you know, behind Eddie and actually um, holding him as we loosened off his... No, after, after he joking, collapsed on the I'm bar. Joking. I know, I know, I know. I know. You're, just you're, a prat. You're, you're twisted mind going again, isn't it? But, but, you know, I can proudly say <laughs> that I think I was, uh, I was the very first person that Eddie told to F off. Uh, <laughs> after the, death, the 500 kilo deadlift had uh, taken place, he shook me back and told me to f off. So. God, he was big then. Do you remember? Yeah, he was like, was like a like, whale when he hit the flat. It was moment. like hugging a bear. It really was. But yeah, no. Nick, you know we're talking about sort of nervousness when mm -hmm. potentially refereeing. Right. How how do you feel now, having had quite a significant injury on your deadlift, when you go heavy? Um, it's it's something that's developing as I go. I have to take my time. And just continually, slowly and methodically improve. And I keep pushing it a little bit more and a little bit more. If I just had to walk in and it was life or death, I wouldn't fear. I would just pull. But in a competition where it's really not, I, I still feel like I got probably three or four months to go before I can really not worry about it anymore. But I did that when I had an ingroinal hernia. So I had ingroinal hernia surgery and it took me 18 months to not feel it, not think about it, not anything else. Then did, did you have the um, the, yeah. the mesh put in me too? Oh, yeah, right? the mesh. Did they do both sides? No, I just did one side. Okay. So, but did, it, they, did they inflate you and to put it in? I have no idea what they did. That's I what was they do. out cold. It was, it was a, it's a vicious operation that yeah. they inflate you like a pig and then they, they're in between your visceral fat. We apologize for eating, they, by the way, at home. They yeah. shove in the Kevlar mesh. Wow, so I'm bulletproof right there. He, you're basically stab proof. When you gone out of bed after that operation, how oh, was that? It was awful, wasn't it? The, it, it? the the tear itself was not painful at all. It didn't uh -huh. really bother me, nothing. Man, after the surgery, mm -mm, no, no. That that was one of the to be worst about, to, to surgeries. It took about two days to take a pee. Oh, I was, <laughs> yeah, I, exactly. And then how long did it take you before you went to the... Before you took a number two. Oh, let's not even go there. Yeah. About, about 30 minutes. You're, 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 like, <laughs> you're like, I'm in bed. <laughs> you're taking stool softeners because you're oh, scared to death time. to push. Yeah. But yeah. I remember I was out of bed and it was the first time I left the house and I went to a record store when they still had those. And uh, I sneezed and I had to take a knee in the middle of the store. It, it was super painful and I was like, 
Oh my god! Oh, and it, it took a little while to get up and get out of that store, but yeah, it, that was kind of scary. Well, how did you injure yourself doing that? Uh, actually, it was funny. I was doing tricep pushdowns with the stack, what? and the stack was like 300 pounds, and I would hang a 150 pound dumbbell from my waist like a dips <laughs> from my, and then I would pull it down <laughs> and do them. But I would do it on the on the one that was designed for triceps, not for the lat pull downs. And these guys were on the tricep one and we're on it forever so i went over to the lap pull down machine and did it and when i let it up it just pulled apart wow but, but but like, you, you're, you're lingering all rings if you don't know what they are they're basically if you if, if you're a man and you want to know where they are if you have you ever had a cold day in the swimming pool and, and, and <laughs> your your bits pop inside you never Jabs. never happened colin <laughs> never happened <laughs> <laughs> so, so we should go to Minnesota and you, you can take you, an ice bath. You can pop a finger up there, right? Have you ever had the cough test from a doctor when they go, they, they give Turn your head we off. feel and then they pop? No? I actually haven't had that one, genuinely. The cold I, one. I, I seem to get that all the time because <laughs> <laughs> I'm so handsome with you. <laughs> It wasn't a doctor he was getting the test I'm from. I'm out of here, man. Stop me, stop me, stop me. This is ridiculous. Go on, go on, go on. This is ridiculous. I'm, I don't know where I'm going with this. I don't know where I'm going. So, I, don't want to, I don't even want to go where how, I'm going. How did you get your hernia? I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. I, I, I like it. Tossing a caber? Well, that, that oh, makes okay. more sense that, Yeah, yeah. I had a bad experience that, with a caber, too. That's not a euphemism. I was just tossing a caber, actually. Yeah. Did, yeah. You, and did you immediately know it had gone? Yeah, it hurt. Because I, I no, actually, it, it's kind. Of, do you know what? It's it, 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 in old-fashioned football soccer. It happened. A, it happens a lot in soccer, and it's actually it's that. Ah, oh, have I done my adductor? Yeah, it's kind of it moves around you, and you you know you. Oh, is, it, is it is it is it my butthole? What, what is it? Is something? Is it? And then finally, someone a doctor, a clever doctor, will go. <laughs> they'll put a finger up inside you, wow. where where you're where you're um. You know, where you're, you're up your ball bag, big man. And they'll find the wee hole and they'll say, cough. And when you cough, did you have the cough test? Uh, actually, we uh. didn't even need to go there because I could feel it popping in and out. Like, of the, of the oh, opening. Wow. Oh, really? Yeah. So, I mean, and you could see it. I walked in, the guy's like, he's like, push with your abs. And I just go like this. He goes, yeah, it's an ingrown hernia. And, and, uh, yeah. So, so but, he but, didn't but, even need to get that far. And another name is Gilmore's groin. Yeah, that he was the, the footballer who originally had that. Or, go on, go or on, doctor give, who did the. As yeah, thank he was a you. Surgeon. Oh, thank you. Okay. So, given that we're thank all sharing here, it's a safe space. I had yeah. a hernia when I was 18 months old. Wow. Yep. Wow. Yeah. What, what were you doing? So, I don't, basically, <laughs> I used to be a really bad baby. I was crying all the time and I, I always wanted to be held, but specifically be held with my knees pressed against whoever was holding me. And that was actually because I had a hernia. And so, as soon as my legs would straighten, I'd be in pain. So hmm. I was, um, yeah, had a hernia. And one of the youngest, when at the time when I had it, the the doctor, the um, anaesthetist were all saying we have never ever had a hernia of anyone this young. Wow. So I've and I occasionally get some issues with it now, but because um, I'm so hard, I, hard, I don't talk can, about can, it. You're not going to show your abs. We see. But where's where was where's the damage? It's, well, it's, it's pubic bone. Okay. It's sort of, okay, we don't need to see that. It. It's already gotten weird. It's, it's not that, that kind of show today. <laughs> Even though Colin's trying to take it to that kind of show today. <laughs> and I don't know why. <laughs> and, I mean, Dave, yeah. have you had a hernia? No. <laughs> You're the only one out, okay. Yep. Weirdo. Weirdo. <laughs> Just, just not going out of the No, <laughs> there's this. Oh my gosh! And so finally, so when's the next time we're going to potentially see you compete, Nick? July 23rd's the Masters Clash, so I'm going to do that. That'll be uh, next up for me, so that'll be my first dip back into strongman. Uh, October, I'm going to do another powerlifting meet, and then a month after that, I'm going to do OSG. And finally, talking about OSG, we've mentioned Mark Felix might go in over 50s. Mm -hmm. We've mentioned, obviously, yourself in over 50s. Yeah. There is one other potential addition to over 50s okay. in this year's. Correct. Ooh. Dave, is well, it going to happen? And Dave's really, looking huge, man. Look at those arms. <laughs> He's jacked. <laughs> He's jacked. <laughs> It's all this talk about hernias. I think I really need to <laughs> So I thought, what better place to get a hernia than OSG? Yeah, yeah. Why not? <laughs> In front of my good friend Nick, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, lads, it has been an absolute pleasure as always. Dave stepped in for Daz, and arguably he's in an awful lot better, and an awful lot better looking as well. Oh, yeah, 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 arguably. Talks, <laughs> more, <laughs> talks a little more, too. Yeah. Nick, thank you yeah. for coming on the podcast. As, oh, we're that, done? 
We are Aww. done. But it is now over to yourselves. Any questions you'd like us to ask people in the future, please let us know in the comments below. If you're watching it on YouTube or indeed if you were listening to it on the audio formats, then don't bother. In fact, Mev, can they leave comments on the audio formats? Maybe. Facebook. <laughs> Facebook is the Maybe, answer for yeah. that. Facebook. Basically, we'd like to hear from you, so do comment. Mm -hmm. If you want to talk about the posture that Colin adopts, if you want to talk about perhaps my tiny legs, or if you want to talk about Nick's massive deadlift, it's all up for grabs, people. But thank you very much for watching. Once again, the Giants Live Strong Man Podcast. Whee! Thanks, man. Thank you, Nick.